Welcome, welcome back, everyone, to the final game of week two for Group FAMAS, Akamikaze versus Tyler 2022. Uh, I'm Plywood, and I am joined with Sparty. How are you doing, Sparty? Yep. Not bad. It's a great race. Uh, GG's to you on the first one. As we're getting ready to see Tyler versus Okamikaze. Okamikaze? Okamikaze? I have done both. I say Okamikaze or Okamikaze. I'll go with Kazi since it sounds like Kamikaze. And then I'm going to go with Kaze just to annoy you. You know, oh, well, that just covers all our bases. So Yeah, it's true. There you go. We're, we're, we'll be right no matter what. That's right. Um, you know, we have another David versus Goliath battle here as we had uh, the number one versus the number 15. Now we got number two versus number 16. Um, so what can we expect, Plywood? Well, Tyler is a veteran at this game. He's been running this game for about as long as I have. Um, he started like a little bit later after me. He was running solid two at the time. And Tyler, Tyler got in on the ground floor on uh, PC much earlier than a lot of runners. And I'd say overall, like he's a very he's he's got good fundamentals in this game. You know, that, that just comes with the experience. He's run console. He's run PC. He's run mm -hmm. any percent. He's run all bosses. So he's really covered his bases uh, as far as that's concerned. And I mean, his reputation precedes him as far as not only is he a versatile runner, he's run a lot of different games. You know, he doesn't just stick to one thing. Um, he's found his fair share of uh, finds in this game as well. Um, he found some cool stuff for any percent on PC with the Tyler two scope movement. So, you know, that, that, that is uh, nothing to sniff at. And a Kamikaze is not new to running. Uh, Kamikaze, I believe, runs FF7, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, so the the thing with Kamikaze, they have to, like, just get more and more familiar with the game. That's, like, the really key thing, right? And right. anyone who's coming into this game fresh can be really daunting, but it really has never been easier to start than now and i hope that is always true forever like it always gets easier and easier to start so i mean how about for you i mean you just started this game really recently you picked it up and i mean you're not you're not a spring chicken to metal gear running but i know this is very different from some of the other games you've run in the series yeah pc was like a whole it was pretty much a new game for me because there was because there's other games where if I'm learning MGS2, I'm learning MGS3, I'm learning MGS4. Well, I've played those games so much casually that I know, like when someone explains something to me, I know what they're talking about. Like I can pick it up, which a lot of people in the community, they've played the games before. But then when I started to run PC, there are things there that I've never heard of that I don't have no idea what it is, like GME, no idea what it is, how to perform it, right. what benefits it has, when to do it. Uh, things like hotkeys, never used it. I have no idea when to perform it, when to when is the right optimal time to do it. So things like that were just so new to me. And I think a lot of the new runners are in my shoes as well, like Okamikaze and Smoke and Ace, to where they, they're kind of getting used to like using the GME or GME2 in certain areas. And you might see them fumble GME2 when they should have GME1 and vice versa. Um, so that's what's a little areas where I struggled as well. But like you said, the resources are vast now. Um, for myself, I looked at your guide that you put on YouTube. That was a solid starting point. That's how I learned most of the run. And then watching other people's runs, just asking the community, uh, little things like that. Um, that really helped me out uh, learning this run. Ooh, that chaffer from a kamikaze was suspect. But, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so... It looks really scary, but if the chaff lands just north of the crate, it works fine, even if you get a slow elevator. But really, you want to hit the crate. You don't want to mess with that. You just want to hold left. But I mean, I'm already going to uh, give a Kamikaze props. His helipad looked better. He got shot, but his helipad looked way better. He didn't go wide around the truck. You know, he didn't get caught. He didn't in the, in do the right tank. side truck. 
Yeah, right side truck, which is the the hot hotness. You know, it just sees them a little bit, a little bit. That's a big, yeah. big improvement. I mean, that just that change on his line alone saved like I don't even know, like five seconds at least. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, I said this before in the in the previous run. I, I give mad props and respects to to new runners like Okamikaze uh, and Smoke and Ace before, where they are new. And all of a sudden, they're new runners. They're getting thrown against likes of you, uh, likes of Tyler, who are, who are veterans at this game. And, you know, they're representing the community, putting on a show for everyone. So, you know, I got just much respect and love for both of these new runners. 100%. And, you know, someone new to the run, you know, you may giggle or sneer or tease a little bit now, but give it a little bit of time and they can be just as much of a threat as anyone else. Definitely. Heck, they could find new things. I mean, Pazo, Pazo, you know, he's been running the game for a few months, but he's found some really cool stuff for both uh, console and PC. And uh, I love that because, you know, the more people we get into a run, the more people we get into the community, into a game, the more cool stuff is found. And that is how the game actually gets improved. It's not by some old fogies mm -hmm. playing the game over and over again. I mean, sometimes we'll find stuff, but... Fresh perspectives, fresh minds. Always. Like the, the Pazzo three-piece, as I like to call it, in the cargo elevator. So this position from a kamikaze is suspect. I Like, standing in front of the door, like, it's just unnecessary work. Like, stand at the... See, he's doing it now. He's standing by the side. Now he's back to the front. Oh, actually, the fight's over, but I know I know what you're talking about. Like, he was in an incorrect location. Yeah, you, you pick up the ammo, then you go back to the side. Having mm -hmm. to move around, it's just adding another element to the fight that just makes it more annoying. So, you know, don't bother with that. That's my suggestion. You think Tyler's going grenades? Grenade off a lot? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, I went for it because I'm just trying to keep a clean execution from here on out on grenades but I don't think he necessarily needs to do it and see he's going for SOCOM he's going for SOCOM he's waiting for the dialogue nice and safe waiting for that dialogue so Ocelot stands still a very good approach he's doing the circles very clean movement really well that's that's a pretty much a textbook clean, safe SOCOM from Tyler. Okamikaze is going to attempt the same thing. He's going to let Ocelot run up a little, but you don't want to do that. Now he's going to start chasing him. You're going to He's going to have to hit him between the pillars instead of just chasing him like this. Yeah, chasing is hard if you don't get shots in to slow him down. And, it, you know, you are faster than him on easy, but just because you are, that doesn't mean you want to be, you know playing Benny Hill music and running around the circle. He's just going to take hits as well and just use up his rations. That's fine. He's got rations to spare. Um, but this is why, like, if, if, if you get into the situation, you have to go for those diagonal shots. They're tricky. Yeah. Or just stand still uh, at a corner and just try to get a shot. Because, you know, you, you see what's going on here. It's just... You know, you're just making movement. You're not actually taking shots. And, and if you're going to chase him, lights. you're going to have to sh cut your corners sharper sharper than that. You cannot round it and go around. But it just needs a few more, a couple more shots. One more shot, I believe, will end the fight. There you go. Tyler gets his uh, first grenade throw on the tank nice and clean. Getting himself set up for that second throw. Just got to mash that square button and boom, got the dunk. Going for the grenades in the top left corner. Bada bing, bada boom. Nicely done by Tyler. Smoke and ice grabs just one pack of grenades. And then goes around to the left. Oh, he's going to... Oh, that was close. I just need... It would have been fine. I, I'm pretty sure it would have been fine. And, and if you're only picking up one pack of grenades, like, just pick them, just pick them up beforehand, you know, and right. and you take that second column, 
column up rather than going back to the left. So this is these little things, um, or like here with this vent glitch. This movement is actually pretty simple. All you gotta do is hold down right until you're at a certain point you hold right. That's it, there's, you know, there's no, it only gets fancy if you're using a 360 analog. Well, we don't have that option. And there's no really no need for it either, just to save a few frames versus oh, little... consistent movement. To the right, got hit by a claymore one time, but let's check out Okamakaze's tank. So he throws the chaff. See if he gets that first grenade in there. Gets shot once. It's fine. He can still recover. Nice. Okay, he gets it, but the tank's gonna be in a awkward position. Now he's gonna have to line himself up to throw that second uh, grenade. I don't know about this throw. I mean, he's moving a lot. Uh, I think it's when close you get, enough. It's, I think that's a quarter. Oh, it did. He did it. Okay. It's because yeah. I'm not playing with audio. I couldn't quite tell. It was close. Well, good enough. job. <laughs> that, 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 yeah. I mean, you know. Look, as long as you get the job done, it doesn't matter how goofy it looks, okay? You just don't want to run around and chase the tank. I mean, he was, he was like, centimeters away from running around chasing the tank. I think he's got to clean up that, that tank fight a little bit. I think he got lucky with that, with that second throw. Hey, it's better to be lucky than good sometimes, all right? I, that is true. I won't argue that. No. As Tyler's getting ready for his ninja fight. So ninja fight um, has a few phases. So the first phase, you just want to punch, punch, kick him two full combos before he goes into his second phase. It's one. And there's two. Nice. Good stuff. Now we just have to see those clean punch, punch, kick combos. Going into phase two, approaching without a weapon equipped, just so you don't get the exclamation mark. Just a little bit of safety for phase two in case you get hit. You don't have to chase the ninja around. Running through the dive kick, and then meeting him once he lands. Very nice. So Kamikaze does his Nikita. Hopefully not having the problem I had in my race where I <laughs> got my... Nikita shot down. <laughs> he didn't, so good job. See, like just stuff like that. It's like, hey, you did better <laughs> you did better than the one seed. So this is, these are good steps. Very good steps. As uh Tyler's getting ready to go into the final phase of uh, Ninja, I think he has one more punch punch kick. Or he's playing hide and seek with with the ninja, so um I think Tyler, when I saw his run earlier, I think it was yesterday or a few days ago, he does a much riskier strat here. Now he's going to go play it safe and just dodge his punches. I forget who it was, but it was just uh, kind of punching the ninja before the ninja even got his punch off. That was... Uh, a Kamikaze was actually going for that, like, turning... Like, you stand still. It's really only viable on easy because of the wind-up time on the punch. Like, if you did that on higher difficulty, the punch comes out so fast. But on easy, since he takes that time to wind up, you can go for it. This is another one of those really small details that... Um... Kind of hard to notice unless you're really familiar with the difficulty differences. I Tyler's actually wanted done. wanted to ask you about that because you know originally you were running console extreme all bosses and you know you went from went to the complete flip side and I was wondering how that felt like just going completely in the other direction for you. I think it wasn't really comparable just because it was PC versus console, and back when I was running it, uh, like I wasn't running it at a high level at all, so mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff I was doing it was just. It was my first ever speedrun that I got into. So um, I was doing stuff where I just kind of came up with it on my own. Right. Um, so I don't think it's it's a very good one-to-one -one comparison going from that oh, to it's this. Oh, it certainly isn't. Right, right. Because now I'm trying to learn strats where the top runners, what they're doing versus, hey, I'm just going to run extreme on PS3 out of all uh, platforms. 
And then the strats I'm using, uh, it's whatever I come up with. But I, I did keep Big Boss for like 80% of that run, and then I lost it, and then okay, I gave up. I know this Pretty good. Uh, Kamikaze made a mistake Fine. that, you know, is really annoying to have happen. He crossed the ninja while he was dropping down and he got good luck but because he sure crossed okay. the spawn point he dropped and then immediately jumped back up um so you really got to be careful about that additionally um after he did the final ppk on the mm -hmm. ninja he went down instead of to the right which is not the direction that the ninja either spawns in the top left or the top right in the final phase, right? Well, I guess it's the second to last, last phase if you count this screaming thing. Um, oh, he's running out of ammo! He has oh, two no. shots. Oh, he has one. He has to pick he's, up some Yeah, some he's, he's going to have to punch him. You just got to go punch him. No, 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 no. i go look for more. Oh, man, that's chaff grenades. Uh, top left? I don't yep, know if he... Uh, top okay. left. You may not know about that. Yeah, just go punch him. That's what I would do if I ran out of ammo at this point. It's not... Just punch him. I think you might not know you can punch him. Yeah, he's going to grenade him. Okay. Very unfortunate. But I I mean, his his last phase, I don't know if you saw that, but that might be one of the best ones I've seen. He was punching Ninja consistently. Yeah, it was very... Or... Like, he's really good at that part. Yeah, like that <laughs> it's part just the other stuff. The other that. <laughs> But you know what? I don't even know you can punch him until you told me right now. Yeah, I noticed that when he was racing Smoking Ace last week. Uh, when Kamikaze was racing Smoking Ace, they did that. I was just like, wow. How? Why? How, how do you know to do that? Because again, it's like I was saying to you, you really could only do that on easy. Yeah, yeah, because the force field <laughs> kills you in like the, the harder difficulties. Oh, okay. Well, friend Tyler, throwing Meryl, seems to be having a pretty clean Mantis fight. Getting the ammo on the right side. Oh, he needed to adjust his aim a little bit. Tapping a little bit to the right just to make sure you don't get hit by the chairs. Totally fine, especially because you take a shot on Mantis, he has iframes, you have some time to move. So when you have that little gap, you take advantage of it. So very smart play, just making a safe adjustment just to make sure you don't get hit by the chairs and get donked. You know, it's good stuff. Good it's stuff funny. from Tyler. Only, only Tyler goes to the right side in the last phase of Mantis. Like I've watched everyone else. Everyone else goes into like the, the left top left corner. Tyler's the only one that goes to the right side. And he's going yeah, it really, for the it really depends on like the position Mantis ends up in. Like then you kind of want to play it by ear, you know? Like sometimes it's better to be on the left, sometimes it's better to be on the right. The right does give you the SOCOM ammo, so that's good. And a kamikaze just like running around. And this is uh that's gonna cost him a few seconds. Did he throw oh he didn't even throw the stun grenade? He was Oh I, well he this is yeah he that part yet, okay. Yeah, you, you gotta move forward just past the tile line. You don't wanna, like, run around. If you watch the task, Tem does that. The English man does that. Uh, and that's mostly for entertainment purposes. It doesn't actually lose any time for him because he knows exactly where Meryl's going. But you just wanna move forward. Misses that shot. Now, he, now he's uh, by the map. Good shot. Now he's just gonna need five more. Careful, you don't want to knock him over the, the table. So, what that's think? that's what happened to me in my run, and then I caused a bunch of problems. You want to shoot from the side. A little too close to the chairs now. He just went, he's, I thought he was going to wait out the chairs, but... I think he needs... He got uh, busted, man. Uh, I think he needs two more shots, or... He's definitely going to need some SOCOM ammo, too. Okay, now he can switch to the grenade, I believe. He did enough damage. I guess he's not going grenade. He's gonna just gonna go full SOCOM. I think this is what uh Smoke and Ace did when the grenades didn't go. He did attempt the grenades, he just didn't um, I think he he might have I think he ran out of grenades. Because remember, he used a grenade for ninja. 
Ah, uh, and then he only picked up one pack. In the and he arm. only picked up one pack, which, mm. like, the reason why I pick up one pack is that I will get every throw, you know? Like, yeah. you know, you're, you're planning on that. Just in case I mess up Ninja, or just in case I mess up Mantis like this. He's going to have and to do here, more. here, like, if you don't have... The grenade skip. You got to throw a stun grenade. You don't want to throw Meryl. That's the backup. And you'll see extreme runners do this because the grenade throw on extreme is so precise to actually get the full damage that, you know, probably about half the time you're going to fail it and then you're just going to have to throw a stun anyways. Um, but a lot of easy runners are not going to know that because, you know, they're just like, well, the grenade does enough damage. Yeah. So this... This is one of those situations where not having enough resources can really kill you. Um, and I know last week I was like, a kamikaze, you don't have to pick up all this extra stuff. But there is some stuff you should pick up. Extra grenades, not a bad idea. Seems like he always picked up a lot of SOCOM ammo on his last run. Where now you see him with only five shots. It's a whole different run for him right now. But he... All right, so he's in the last phase of uh, Mantis here, and one more shot. From there gluttony to famine, that's that's how I'd put it. Yeah. He's either gonna go to the extremes. He's either gonna <laughs> go all the way to one side or go all the way to the other. There's no. You, got, you gotta find that Goldilocks, my friend. No that Goldilocks. <laughs> the Kamikaze extreme. <laughs> I mean, it's fitting for the name, right? All right, Tyler. I hate this entering room. armory. <laughs> this room could cause some serious problems. He threw the stun very early. Like, I think it's yeah. that's way too early. I this is going to be scary. I you want to throw it later. I, I wouldn't only press this elevator button once. Oh, oh okay. he squeezed it in, but that was spooky. See, for me, what I hate is that guard right there. Sometimes he stands up and looks right at you. And other times he stands up and just looks off to the wall. Yeah, you pretty much want to be right there when he stands up. That's really, you know, that's why sometimes people will just press the elevator button once. And even if the elevator hasn't come immediately, they they're just get ready for the guard because you don't want to mess with him. If, if that guy dies, then it's fine. You know, if you kick him, you should be OK, but you don't want to get spotted. It's just a bad situation. You're at least losing like 15 seconds. Tyler going for the OOB grenade strap, which is uh, I don't think I've seen cool. this. Out yeah, of this is something Tyler loves to go for. So this is something you'll often see on any percent for certain runners. You have to clip a certain part of the map, um, and then you'll walk over to the stairs, go prone to get through it, and then you climb uh, the staircase. Now, if you ask me plywood how does that compare to the left chaff throw i actually don't know that was going to be my question <laughs> i knew you were going to ask that and <laughs> i honestly that don't know um i don't I, I i really don't know i don't know how that compares it's a fast strat if you yeah. do it right it's it's a good strat i just don't know how it compares to the other ones there's like five strats in that room now you just go out of bounds and then come up on the left side by the stairs and then you clip back inbounds yeah so you throw a grenade to cause an alert you go out of bounds with gme2 and mm. then um you clip through the map and then you clip through the stairs to get back in bounds all right tyler going for his wolf one uh wolf playing aggressively going to the right side unfortunately he started scanning over the right when wolf was going to the left that was really just like a an error of uh vision i would say getting her as she's moving he has two he has shots one bullet left and make it count, it. buddy oh, make this make this shot count really nice. good job very good keep your cool i think for a moment he's like should i go pick up ammo he's like no no yeah. no he is picking up now okay that's fair i mean when you're at zero it's a little scary like later on with wolf 2 you're only gonna have 10 shots that's not a lot of bullets right so i i understand why he went for that ammo i wonder why he changed his mind mid 
shot. I guess he just wanted the full ammo maybe um, coming out of that fight instead of having maybe if he missed one or he came out with maybe four or three bullets instead. Oh, Kamikaze is not what in a, a good position. Line. He's going he way, this line is... Last run too, this is a very like different that. line that I'm used to. Whoa. Okay, there's no reason to cross. Like, just stick to the left wall. <laughs> he went all the way right. Cut back all the way the right to all the way, way left. left. I mean, it worked. He didn't get claymored, but, like, just go to the left side and then I don't do the extra di that's diagonal that's step. That's Kamikaze line. That is a that isn't a kamikaze line if I've ever seen one. I mean, it worked. Like he didn't get blown up, yeah, so respect. It <laughs> it's just, it's so it's just like it, it could have been better. But in, in, in his last run, he set off like five claymores. So he went from that to this. He he improved. It was a big improvement. Uh, he's going to the armory. He didn't even flip the first guard. He just threw the two chests. Yeah, he's doing the double stun pazo method. It looks like. Oh, he's oh very interesting. He's. Wait, I thought he was going to go through the door just to, like, reset the room. He's just, like, waiting it out. He's going all the way around. <laughs> Ooh, okay. You know, okay. that's, uh, like, if that works. It works. It's, it's not faster than what Tyler did, but that worked. Like, you have to wait out the, uh, yeah. the alert and evasion anyways, but, you know? The, the Okamakaze Armory. We went from this Okamakaze is... Canyon to... Kamikaze Armory. Every time he's been in the canyon, he's done something that's yeah, really wacky, but it works yeah. out. Does he Here go he's just doing GME. Uh, like, yeah. totally makes sense. Just GME. If you don't know the line, forget about it. Now, you, you were mentioning earlier about the, the rifle thing at the end of Wolf. I think, I think Tyler made the right call because you don't know what Wolf is going to do, so if you can take the shot, like, go for the shot, you know? Yeah. I think he saw, maybe he saw her at the last second run to the right. So he's like, okay, I have one shot. She's going to be, in, I know where she's going to be. So I trust myself to hit that shot. As uh, Kamikaze is going to go, is he going to go for the PSG? He's going to play super safe, hug the he's wall. He's just waiting. Oh, he's going to wait it out. So this is, this is not ideal. If you want to just play it safe, you should go right side um, and save a few seconds that way. But, you know, again, not getting spotted. You know, this is all much cleaner gameplay than last week. So even though we have our criticisms, I have my criticisms like, well, you could try this, you could try that. I can't deny that the results are much cleaner than last week. So it's it's a it's a good game. It's right. a good game. The the rooms are a little longer, but when you have no continues and no alerts, then overall he is saving time versus, you know, his last week's run. Let's see if he goes to GME too. He is. Oh, All right. Is. Another another thing. Like, as long as he can navigate, that's the key part. Can he oh, navigate? A little tricky for me trying to learn the line. Yeah, the step count can be a little weird. Like, I honest, like not only is the feather method faster. That was not that bad of a cave. It, it could yeah. have a little bit of improvement, but not that bad of a cave. Right. Now he's. Let's see his wolf fight. Nice first shot. They traded. It's okay. Good luck right now. Nice second shot. Waiting on that pillar, heading on over to the east side of platform. Trying to get that that uh, shaky shot, having some trouble. Again, the, Tyler did the exact same thing. Like, Wolf is going left and you aim right that doesn't make sense she's moving to the left so why would you move your aim in the opposite direction right you want to keep your aim where she's going yeah especially right, because oh tyler's going for it again here we go clipping that edge gonna go prone at the stairs get back in bounds uh, he it's very clear he's done some practice on that it was good it was very good it was a good uh, wolf fight also. He managed to get out of there. Um, and he goes into GME too. Nice. This is where you could crash the game if you're not careful. Okay, he's out. Went pro he, he went really far out. That's why I prefer just going prone early and then just falling down. Yeah, because, that's what I do. Uh, 
if you don't if you go prone too late then you have to like backtrack and it's just a pain but yeah really good improvement from a kamikaze overall um sure tyler is i think the reason why tyler's ahead most is the end of ninja and that ocelot fight those are the things that really killed a kamikaze ocelot fight definitely at the beginning he was just chasing around ocelot too much instead of going for those diagonal shots um as tyler is gonna start his ascend into the tower uh so for the i know we were talking about the gme2 going i um, saw this happening i saw <laughs> I, I i i like clairvoyant like looked at my crystal ball tyler's too far up you got to stay in the middle you got to stay in the middle or else you're gonna hit that frame same thing happened with uh with smoke and ace as well he threw his grenade a little early and then he was trying to time it out again but tyler did the right thing you know it didn't go his way but he just went straight to it um and just took the the cut the little cut scene yeah if you yeah, fail the throw you just you just go through the door at that point it's not worth cooking and waiting because the cutscene's not that long and thankfully since you know on console it's a little bit more annoying because then the guards are right there on pc it doesn't matter like yeah. they're not gonna hit you so and nothing to do here but just climb the stairs and you're in gme on pc so the guards do no damage to you at all so level with me um do you like uh, not having to worry about walkway or, or tower, or do you just like it cheapens the run for you? It cheapens the run for me. I do not like this. I don't like GME, and I don't like GME 2 out of bounds. Those two things kind of take me out of the the Metal Gear experience, if I'm honest. It's, it's, just, it's a step too far for you. Yeah, it's a little too out of the way. Um, certain other things I can I can go with, but the GMEs is what kind of kills um, the PC speed run for me. Got to do that. Uh, but extreme but all bosses though. Extreme all bosses. Yeah. The, I you know extreme all bosses PC kind of an interesting mishmash of both high difficulty and not being so bad. You know, it's kind of odd. Like. Yeah, but it still has that GME, GME 2 no, thing. No, that's but, the point. <laughs> that's yeah, the point. Like, but, it's not but, just like the best ultra parts hardcore. About PC, the best parts are the hotkeys. And, and, not, the and no codex. Right, codex and, and cutscenes and hotkeys. Like, I'm all in on those two. <laughs> Give we me like, that. We no like G the hotkeys, but we don't like the hotkeys. All right, a kamikaze accidentally throwing the guard, but hey, at least this time he didn't trap <laughs> himself in, in the. Um, just go oh, get the cutscene, gonna... my friend. Just go get the cutscene. Try to kill him. He wants a kill. He wants the kill. Oh, he doesn't want the kill. I think he well, was mad at Johnny for what he did to his other run. <laughs> yeah, last week it was like it was the payback. I'm gonna throw you around, buddy. Like no one, do, no one makes me taste my own blood. cover himself in ketchup and had nothing to show for it. <laughs> Look at this. He has no SOCOM ammo, and last week I think he was like 120 SOCOM ammo. As Tyler does walkway, expertly pressing 0 and 9. Remember, it doesn't have to be 0 then 9. It could be 0 then 1, 0 then 4. It could be any of the hotkeys, folks. It's I just that R3 left touch left deep or left touchpad. Uh, on the controller. Sparty infamous for hating keyboards. He uh destroys keyboards in his spare time uh, with a hammer. I even have a wireless one where everyone else is wired. Wireless keyboard. You all right, I I, I gotta I gotta check out your battle station, because if you got a wireless keyboard, I gotta wonder if there's a bunch of other wireless doohickeys in your uh, situation. Oh, everything is wireless controller, but I do got to use it wired for a PC, which I don't like. It's another <laughs> thing I don't like about you just get that PC. Bluetooth dongle. You I, gotta buy, Bluetooth. I don't want to buy an extra thing sticking out of my but, PC. But that's a, 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 a thing to avoid the wire, you know, like. That's true. But then 
It's another. But you don't I like have. this. You're you're gonna be done with this after the tournament, is what I what I'm gathering from you this. Know, I'll so. try to get a respectable time on the boards, but I am done with the PC after this tournament. But I will post a time that I am happy with and submit it to the boards. Hey, respect regardless for uh, putting in the effort for something that you pretty much knew was not going to be to your taste. Yeah. Like I said, I'm all for competition. I'm all for uh, races. You just I've have to get you a Nokia phone. <laughs> and I wanted to put MGS1 on, under my belt that I've ran it. I've ran 2, 3, and 4 on this channel. So now I've, I've ran 1 through 4. Or uh, race. A Not kamikaze just for getting to do GME2. He just yeah. like ran he through the door. The last time, after Wolf as well. That was the second time that happened to him. Alright, let's, uh, let's check out Tyler's hind fight. If he can uh, perform better than you, Ply. You were having a little trouble on this yeah, over. I, had, I was just uh, choking it hard. Um, really just trying to figure out like a good way to pick up the extra stinger as a, a safety while also um, getting the phase one shots and and you just have to keep on working at it, trying to figure out what's like the best way for me. This fight is just annoying. Oh, Tyler whiffed. He got that shot over the uh, the box, so you know the la missing the last shot isn't so bad because um, the hind doesn't like fly away; it tries to shoot at you, so it's not so bad. I always have the biggest fears in certain races. So for MGS3, for example, my biggest fear in races is the end tranquilizes me and I start back in the cell. My biggest fear in MGS1 PC here is the hind goes underneath. Oh yeah, it's... You see your whole life flash before your eyes is like <laughs> the hind is just floating below and you're just waiting and yeah, thinking. Yeah, you're not and doing anything. You're not doing, you can't do anything. You're just you're like, staring, oh, come you're on. You're staring at the screen. You know all the people are laughing at you in chill Please. Lounge. Please. But luckily it like, hasn't happened to me. You're like, man, if only I was running extreme, this helicopter would just come up immediately. Stupid easy difficulty. Who picked this? If it was extreme, I would have shown that hind who's boss. <laughs> If I was on extreme, you know, I would have shown all of you. All right, Tyler does a really good hind fight. I think he only missed like one shot. That was like nitpicking his mistake, but um, clean hind fight, and he's out of there while Okamakaze is getting ready to go to the uh, repel section, I believe. Let's see if he goes into GME2 here. He does. Nicely done. And then what GME2 does here is it skips the cutscene where the satellite antenna gets destroyed, goes straight into the rope, and he starts his uh, repel section. Repel section. Uh, I'm getting better at this part, but still a few times uh, I might mess up a jump here and there, especially when you have to run, around, run along the uh, rails. So let's check out what a kamikaze does he's doing some wild right. he's, he's gonna wing it he's just gonna do the old kamikaze repel oh, he, match you're on the girder you go down oh, on the girder he oh, had the opportunity to yeah. save time i don't think he knows it he doesn't he's know just, like about gonna, like run, it, run on the girders run on them girders okay run don't on them a, girders, boy. Run, run on them girders get down on the ground jumping yeah. jumping's for schmucks it's slow we want to run He's gonna just do what I used to do, just hold down and smack and match. <laughs> yeah, just keep on pressing X. Just, I'm actually, it's, it's, a way, it's a way to go down, but it's not a way to go down very fast. It's just a way to get down. Hey, the fastest to get from point A to point B is a straight line. That's what he was going for. <laughs> you know, that is one way to think of it. But the straight line was just a really slow straight line. <laughs> Sometimes movement methods matter more than just uh, direct A to B. So Tyler starting his Wolf 2, backing up, which is the smart thing to do, unlike what I did during my race. Uh, just back up a little bit to give yourself a little bit of space. Um, otherwise, you need to like step back after like 
two two uh, switches, two swaps. Nice shot. Swapping between Stinger and the rifle. Stinger. Try to get that shot. I think he needs about three more shots, I believe, to end this fight. There's one. He's two more. Oh, just missed her. He got to hold that right. I always struggle here because you have to hold the D-pad in a certain direction to make it go faster. But then I always make adjustments up and down. And when you make the up and down adjustments, it throws off the whole speed. Yeah, you basically want to just hold up. Like, the moment you, like, get into the rifle, you hold up like as you're going into the rifle and then you hold left or right it, you know diagonals are for analog it's just it's just not that great on d-pad unless you're like wolf one you could do upright if wolf's on the right up left if she's on the left but snowfield eh, not so much not that bad of a wolf two for for tyler though See, uh, tyler goes with the pazo three piece I think so. He's been showing off some flashy stuff this run. With that uh, OOB nuke nuke building. Uh, he's just going for a traditional PPK. This is what we do on any percent. He slipped past the guard, though. Yeah. yeah. So no puzzle three-piece. Gets out of there. Does a little nice moonwalking with the... <laughs> I love... <laughs> Every time Tyler does that on that elevator, I laugh. Because it's, it's just awesome. <laughs> just seeing... Snake just like propel backwards. I love it. As we get uh, Okamikaze starting his hind fight. So let's see if he goes for the overhead shots. So he got one. Uh, I don't, yep, uh, he got the second one. So he's going to fly back. Oh, he's running out of fingers. Do... Okay, he's out of stinger. He's going to have to go up to the platform. He's going to fly over him. Now you got to go the other way. Let's see if he knows that. No. There you go. Okay, it's gonna fly opposite side now. So wherever you shoot the hind, it flies to the opposite side. Yeah, he's just getting it. really turned around here, and part of it is just, you know, you have to understand the hind goes from one side to the other. It's a 180. So, you know, there were times where a kamikaze was like flipping the wrong way, and you know, left to right, up to down, down to up, right to left. Did he use... How many stingers does he have now? He's, he he used five. all of them. No, I think he used all five. Oh, he, he got himself caught in, behind the girder. Oh, turn around. Oh, yeah, he man. used up all his stingers, and then the ammo pack didn't spawn to where he was on the platform. Yeah, because he was looking at the spawn, and now he's going to have the hind we were talking about earlier. This is, uh, this is what I hate. This is my biggest fear in uh, running uh, PC. This is like a this is like a nightmare, right? Like yeah. you go to bed one night and it's you, you're playing MGS One easy, all bosses, and your nightmare is just the hind flying below forever. You never shows up. up in a cold sweat. <laughs> you're I just like no, my time, my hind. time loss. It was the hind. It was, it was going the under along. the building. <laughs> But yeah, like, so here are a couple things a comic can improve on for next time. One, you need to unequip the stinger. If you got to do a 180 flip, you don't want to rotate an FPV. You want to flip in third person. It's it's the same thing we do in MGS2 as well. Like, we do the exact same thing. You do a flip in, in third person because that rotation is super slow. And uh, what Limes taught me as well is if you run out of stingers and the pack doesn't spawn in the platform, uh, while you're in the stingers, um, like the FPV with the stingers equipped, just look up. Look up and then unequip and it'll spawn there. Yeah, you want to make sure you're not looking at the spawn location of the ammo. Because I didn't understand this for the longest time, like how that worked. And... I forget who it was on PC, but they started standing over there and they would just like click it and just not look at it. And that's all it, it's it, it's it's a shy ammo pack. You can't look at it when it's uh, um, coming coming towards you. you know? I ammo pack. I like that reference. It's the shy ammo. 
Okay. Right. Nope. Kamikaze has four shots, and this is where you want to empty four to get that extra plus one. Every stinger, every stinger counts. He's gonna go YOLO. I wonder if he's gonna go back down and pick up more stingers after this. Uh, I think so. There's uh, two packs, right? When you go down the stairs, there's one. Uh, well, there's three. There's even packs. three. You could pick up three. I think if I was him, I'd pick up all three. Go with 15 stingers against Wolf. Nah, he's he's all about that famine, so he's just gonna <laughs> roll down the stairs. No way. He's he's gotta pick up one. I'd be shocked Our, if he doesn't. Tyler pick got up. God Bomb. Shoutouts to Bakarov. Tyler got God Bomb. No, don't throw the bomb now. Oh, yeah, now you have to roll back if it's not there, right? Okay, well, it blew up. You least. wanna you wanna yeah, if you get the pal in position one. You got the same luck, got Tyler and me. Um If you Wait. get Pal in no, position Tyler, one. Tyler got the worst luck. You got the second to the worst luck. Oh, you're right. No, no, no. That was that was uh, sorry. I was getting confused. That was um, Vermilion. There's a bad, a lot of bad pal luck tonight. <laughs> the the good pal luck is on Saturdays. Mondays get the shitty luck. <laughs> Monday is uh, no good. Set, no set good your, pal day. Set your PC to Saturdays on racing. <laughs> That what determines like. Can uh, you, you know, imagine? Four, can you MGS imagine four, if it's just a date? You got the you got the Wednesday Sunday for MGS one. You got to set it to Saturday. Permissive action link granted only on Saturdays. All right, well, Kamikaze, he almost went through the door. It was so oh, that close. That was close. I, I didn't see if he picked up more stingers, but find out Tyler entering his room temperature heading heading down to the warehouse now and now we are gonna see what Akamikaze is I forgot to ask you why do you want to back up for wolf because if you so when you swap with the hotkeys so you know like how well I don't know if you know this per se but like on console you can't equip the stinger while you're prone right right like but on PC, weapon hotkeys are broken. So, like, even though you're not supposed to just immediately equip it, you can. Mm -hmm. um, so if you do that, like, a few times, because um, on console, you stand up, like, you actually stand up and equip the stinger. But because you don't stand up, like, you keep on slowly inching forward every time you go prone. Oh, you hit the barrier. Right, yeah, you eventually hit the barrier. So I think a kamikaze, if he does this one more time, yeah, now if he stands up, he's going to get hit by the barrier. That's what happened to my race against Nick. And I think I got hit once or twice. And I'm like, there's no way I got hit from Wolf. No, it's, yeah, it's, the, it's that barrier for sure. Uh, so there you go. So that's why you'll see runners step back because, you know, uh, Potentially, you don't need to do that. Um, it's probably best to, like, do it two times and then step back because the next one you'll get mm -hmm. knocked back um, and try to hope that you don't have... Because it's better to, like, immediately start fighting her, right? Yeah. yeah. But um, just moving back is just a good insurance policy because sometimes it's hard to remember in the middle of a fight and, you know, this fight's so random. <laughs> be a pain. This was a better wolf than the hind, that's for sure. Yep. Had enough stingers. Got a few PSG one shots in there as well. So uh, he's out of wolf two. Goes into oh. the rifle as a celebration. <laughs> he just wants to check if she's actually dead or not. I mean, that's a good safety measure. Like, did I actually kill that lady? I thought I killed her last time, and then she got the jump on me i see a body it's like in war zone you see something in the distance you're not sure if that's a enemy or not so you take your scope out real quick like okay we'll get it's just a it's just a bird flying in the <laughs> distance i think it's someone parachuting never mind it's a bird easy mistake easy mistake okay it's so tired. yeah for a kamikaze like the two fights they were having the biggest trouble with hind and ocelot i'd say those are the big points of improvement the wolf fights were 
serviceable. Um, the ninja was just unfortunate, just not having enough ammo and not knowing you should just go run up and punch him. Um, it's just like lack of ammo for some of these, but behind fight, you know, you got to know that concept of turning in third person for aiming behind you. You know, you can't be messing around in between the phases. Got to know about because you'll see that girder fall down after that missile gets launched and that'll block your path. And he, I don't think he realized that he thought I could maybe like cut cut the yeah. difference. But you don't want to gamble on that. You just want to assume you're not and just run around the girder that's about to fall. I hate climbing up these little ladders. I'm always off position and I'm just punching the air. That is one of those little details that just takes a while to get used to. You run any percent enough, you'll get very familiar with these ladders. Because uh, missing a punch on a ladder is very painful with a run that's only 36 minutes or an hour as it is on yeah. console. As uh, Kamikaze doesn't GM me too, so he gets a nice little codec call. Yeah, gotta, gotta remember about that. It's a small time save. It's actually how GME was originally discovered by me. Um, it's just messing around on the cargo elevator with the rifle and the chaff. Um, and getting that little time save. Um, gotta get it. Gotta get it. Those little things do count. So that's the that's what I do when I first learn a speed run as Okamakazi starts his Raven fight. He gets the nice SOCOM shot, so now he's just spacing out his Nikita shots. Um, the one thing I always do is there's always the given time saves. And what I mean by that is it requires like no skill. Um, for example, skipping the codex. And there's really, really not an excuse to not skip those unless you just forget. But things like that is what I always try to get down first. And then after that, you move on to the to the more difficult stuff. Yeah, any any opportunity, especially when, you know, you're doing nothing. I mean, it's an elevator, right? So right. if you can save a little bit of time on an elevator, you go for it. Same with uh, any point where there's so little going on. Well, if you can do something, that's better than nothing. And it also just keeps you engaged. Like, OK, I have this next thing to do, that next thing to do. And you, th it just sort of builds the run in your mind. Like you don't just like turn off your brain still have something to do. Kamikaze says, I don't need the stinger ammo. So he just skips it. Tyler <laughs> continued to make me chuckle with his uh, quick swapping, being like, check out what I can do. It's like the call of I, duty. I could do oh. this. <laughs> that, that's there it is. Yes. <laughs> there it is. Fanny goes so fast. I really I wonder if he should just do that instead of worming on any person because of how frickin' fast he is with that oh nine oh nine oh nine oh nine. Oh man. Dang a kamikaze just murdered that gonna, guy. Sure. He turned I, around I, to kill him. He's like, yeah. You're you're dead. Time, but I'm gonna make sure this guy's dead. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it too. Tyler thinks he's gonna freak me out. I know how this works. I'm not scared. He knows how to do this. Keep going more. A little more. A little more. A little more. He should go more. He should go against the wall just to get that camera angle because it's a cool camera angle. No, what he really should do is run down. Run down along the ledge. That's the best because it looks so scary, but it works. He stands closer to the lava so the palky gets heated faster from the heat. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's like how uh, a lot of people, including myself, thought like, oh, you have to go in the pipe room. Yeah. It's so hot in there. Like, there's actual, like, there's like the little steam animation. Thought, and, like, yeah, the, yeah. No, I thought you had wavy. to put the pal key, then get hit by the little, the puff of smoke coming oh, out. Oh, what's this, a kamikaze? This is he's not gonna, a line. This is sure it's not the pal, the god spot. That's what he was doing. He was just running around there, making sure he didn't miss it. He, he knows the line. No, he knows wait. something. He knows, he knows. I the... feel like he may have missed spot two. I can't quite tell. He's checking. I can't remember if, no, the, if it was Smoke and Ace or a Kamikaze that was doing the serpent oh, snake Oh, see, line. he missed it. He missed spot four. 
I can't remember who was doing this snake serpentine line. They were just covering every that single. Was, inch. I think that was uh, that was smoking ace. Smoking right. ace was like just uh, scanning the. the yeah, pool. like folks, I'm not gonna miss anything. Folks, you gotta learn the line. You you can't you can't lose this. You have to learn the line. It's it it is kind of like a given, honestly. It is the most important line that you will learn in this game. Actually, it is the most important line you'll ever learn in this game is that pal line. Plus, red otherwise, is red. Plus red. you just get so many headaches. Me, me, and Smoke and Ace are rat pals. We're the only ones to get the rat during these races. Kamikaze was trying to go for the SOCOM strat. Um, if you are going for that in the future of Kamikaze and you listen back to this, you have to go down the middle. He was hugging the rail. You're not going to hit the, the guard because he's in the middle of the catwalk, not on the right. So that's a, just a little detail, just that small little adjustment. But the, the small adjustment you really need to make is your pal line. Uh, you know, you don't want to waste time there. You want to do the same thing every time. Tyler, Tyler going FPV for fun. <laughs> he heated up his pal key, so now he's just going to go enter that and get on with the uh, Rex fight. Get on with the it would be uh, what do you call it? The last fights of the of the run. Yeah, that that one guy with the hair. You know that I can't remember his name. Uh, gaseous plasma? snake. I think plasma snake. Oh, oh, plasma snake. Yep. He's fr he's from the star. That means he's the strongest thing in the universe. It's there like a go. solar solar flare snake. It's uh, a super <laughs> supernova snake. Supernova <laughs> supernova snake. I yeah, I would I that would be a pretty cool uh thing. Can in I the change my universe. name from Sparty to Supernova Snake? I think that rules off the tongue better. Supernova snake. Yep. You know, that's better than like uh liquid snake 45, that's for sure. Uh you mean that's better than solid snake 1234? Is that your uh, password to your bank account? <laughs> Shh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, man. God damn it. Now I got to change it to 12345. Oh man. <laughs> you gotta add you, you gotta add the six as well. You gotta at the start for the mix. Every time up. they tell me to change my password, I add one extra number. There you go. All right, Tyler starting his MGREX run on this boss. He's adjusting. Uh, he's like, I'm too far forward. Okay, sure, that's fine. Just making sure you don't miss those shots. Ace him out well. Now will Tyler go for the standstill strat, which is potentially faster if you know what you're doing, or will he run forward like on console? We'll see. I run forward. Are you supposed to just stand running, still? Running forward is safer and more okay. consistent. But if you stand still, I think you can get a shot out more quickly than if you run forward and then shoot. Um, of course, I, I cannot confirm with hard numbers but I think the one I had today was actually really good while standing still. It just requires practice. So he's actually standing still. Cool, cool. I think he waited a little for Snake to kind of crouch. Or a little bit of a delay. Oh, that was, it was just a little bit off on that timing. If he waited just like a fraction later, that would have worked. I think he... Rex was still standing up, and that's why that missed. Or right, if he aimed just a little bit down. Do you do one throw, two throw, or no throw? I think he's. I think he goes for just a classic two throw setup. If you cross this line, so we'll see how he manages with liquid. If you're a kamikaze, you hope that Tyler um, sits down and chats with liquid for the next like six minutes, but. Uh, Tyler is not that quite. Well, you hope he messes up, dies maybe three times. All right, two throws. That double, double throw, double punch. 
give him the slide, which is what you want to see, because now you're going to, of course, knock him off, no questions asked. It's a nice clean infinite, just got to finish with that kick. Perfectly timed kick to get the final nice. chunk of damage. 205 liquid, totally respectable. Well done from Tyler. Now so waiting at the Jeep. Escape time for Tyler. I always hold this guy up and then let him fall down so um, Otacon runs him over. That is uh, a strategy in extreme. It's better to bring the guard. It's better to... Actually, I would have to look at the timing of it because there's actually two bottlenecks there. There's the bottleneck... Um, where you're waiting for Otacon to st start the Jeep, and then there's a bottleneck for when Otacon leaves. He, he will not leave any earlier than like 9.34 or something. So even if you're fast, it doesn't actually matter. So it just depends on if you can like not get slower than that second bottleneck. <clears throat> if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Gotta do your GME, he gets another nice little codec call. From Master Miller. Yeah, just another. That's another. If he if he gets Naomi, that's just six seconds that are. It's free. It's it's a given time save. Like you called it. You know, there's nothing else to do there. So, Tyler, gonna hit Blondie over here. The big big gun. Get a little this. bit of a swerve. Oh, you missed that bit, one. He's a little. It's just a bit too antsy. Yeah. You know. This part is a uh, part patience. You know, you have to be patient, and and then part knowledge. It's if you're patience, just firing your turret and trying to follow Liquid wherever he goes, he's gonna swerve way too much. So you kind of want to point your gun away until he pops back up. And then he'll pop up quickly if you point your gun away from him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then you shoot him as he pops back up. Yeah, you want to be surgical. It really is uh, about that precision. Tyler, probably going to get about a 51. Yep, 51. Not bad. Tyler is finishing up his run. Uh, this is honestly a pretty good run for Tyler. I mean, this is a low two. Very acceptable run. And a 102.10 from Tyler. Very, Very nicely nice. done. Yep. Trying to think in his run um, where he lost a little bit of time. I think it was Wolf 2 a little bit. Can't really help that. Um, he, he took Ocelot safe at least 10 seconds. That's really mm -hmm. you new. Know, Neither here nor there. Um, Ninja was, was good. good. Mantis was good. Can't really think of too many. I think he just played it a lot safer. Um, went for the safer strats, and I mean, 102.10. It's going to be tough to beat in a race. That's a, a conservative approach. Um, what the hell is that? That is, uh, that is a, a version, a version of Tyler's face distorted it looks like uh he got too close to the lava in the blast furnace <laughs> his face started <laughs> melting. melting oh ggs to tyler um bring us home a kamikaze on this uh the run i got another question for you so um you did all bosses pc easy have you considered all bosses console easy the problem with that is I don't have a PS TV and I only have it on PS3. And well, I don't... Let, let, put, put aside the hardware. I'm just talking about um, easy specifically. Like, oh, easy? I'd rather play extreme. But I also will tell you that I don't know the run really that well on, P on easy console. And really it's going to take something like a league um to put my interest in that i always start out with the higher difficulties then work my way lower which is weird but 
I prefer it that way than the other way around. Tyler, putting up a fast food tier list, this is, you know, don't make a mockery of the situation with your weird fast food takes, okay? We don't have time for that. We have time for a kamikaze doing his final movements back to Rex. I agree with most of Tyler's fast food. There was a few where uh, you lost me. Come on, in and out is a B. You don't even have it where you live. Uh, what else? Uh, Papa John's is not that bad. I can't tell what no, that it's, is. No, that's the reckoning tier list. Oh, it's never a... mind. Wendy's yeah. is a B. You got to move Wendy's up to a B. Sonic is a B. Taco Bell is a B. Panda Express is not an F. No way. Uh, uh, everything else I kind of agree with. I don't have a Whataburger, so I can't really talk. Five Guys is really good. I would even put that in S, but it's way expensive. Like, you can't put Five Guys and McDonald's in the same category. Like I think he originally had McDonald's in A tier. Yeah. McDonald's for the price? I might move McDonald's for A, but like... Five guys, you put like fifteen, twenty dollars in for one meal, or McDonald's. It's like a fraction of that. Uh, but the rest, I kind of agree with. Thank you. Taco Bell is not good. All right, someone ban Tony. Ban Tony right now. Taco Bell is not good. Tony is banned. As we go to uh, Kamikaze, getting out of there, starting his uh, Rex fight. There we go. So Rex won. He goes into GME. He moves a little bit to the He's right. A little too close. Yeah. The, a this too might close. cause Rex to move around, right? Yep. That that caused Rex to move around. Okay. His timing is good. It's just that, yeah. like, if he was just a, a little bit further. I mean, he's so getting his shots in. Oh, he missed. The, he, I think he shot too early on that yeah. last one, but not bad. You, just have, you, can't, you can't move that close. You need to step a little bit further back. Keep your social distancing from the Big Mac. <laughs> See what you did there? Huh? Did you say stay away from the Big Mac? I thought you were calling Rex the Big Mac. <laughs> stay away from Big Macs. <laughs> It's <laughs> good advice. I do love me a Big Mac. Kamikaze, standing still, thinking, pondering. What should I do? My friend just died. I think my <laughs> war buddy just died. What do I do? Oh, I shoot. use my keyboard and <laughs> become invincible. I go to GME, so he can't do the same thing to me. <laughs> And I hit it with my stingers, so I'm out of there scoffing. I'm just picturing Salt Stick trolling Frank Yeager <laughs> like, why'd you bring this keyboard along, huh? You wouldn't get crushed if you just brought along a keyboard. He's like, Listen, I have my keyboard, but I don't have a PSG1. All I got is a sword. How am I going to do that with the sword? <laughs> well, he's got his blaster. He's got his Mega Man uh, blaster gun, so but that, it's not a keyboard. You need the PSG1. It won't work. <laughs> yeah, he needs to. He, he needs, needs to, to go borrow with the blaster. Yeah, He's like, there's only one PSU in this whole Alaskan terrain, and you took it. Now I got true. nothing. We killed. We killed Frank Yeager because of yep. that decision. All right, a kamikaze actually getting some punch combos. Oh, dropped it a little bit there. What helped me with the uh, liquid is I just turn off all audio, and I just listen to the tapping of the controller. It's it a very, it a very good really strategy. But, you know, if you just looked at this, like, you know, if he can finish, if he can finish Liquid, the funny thing is, is he's going to have a faster Liquid than Pazzo, which is kind of strange to think about, right? Yeah. I mean, he had Liquid a few areas where he was hitting them with some good combos. Um... Like right there, he probably could have done a few more combos than maybe a kick if he lost you it. You don't want to do these end kicks in yeah. this final phase. This is it really costs you a lot. You're better but... off just doing the two punches and then letting him get up. But yeah, two punches, duck, two punches, run away. But honestly, like 
That was a good liquid. Especially when you put everything else in perspective with the run. Like, I don't think a Kamikaze really needs to work on liquid. No, there's definitely other areas where he's losing a lot more time. Uh, where you could put more effort in. This liquid, it's not that hard. You're not going to lose as much time as you would in other phases of the game. All right, here, guaranteed a Kamikaze is slower than the bottleneck. You know, you want to choke the guard by the Jeep, kill him, and then slap your butt on that Jeep. You don't want to be waiting and standing around. It's not worth the time. But, you know... I, I, I will say I am impressed with the liquid. Like the end game, much better. Hey, we're we're actually using GME. So that's a big improvement too. Good job, Snake. Let's go. Um He was just uh, fumbling GME a little bit here and there, but he knew where to use it, so now he just has I think it's more now execution. I think he's getting the, the base ideas down and what to do where. And now it all just comes down to executing them. Exactly. Definitely exactly. a big improvement uh, to a kamikaze from last week. Especially at the cell. He threw Johnny around. Like I said, I think he was mad at him, so he threw him around a few extra times. Hey, just for what happened last week. It's a lot faster than the ninja rescuing you, that's for sure. Now here, follow the Jeep. You. <laughs> this is not what you want to do. You want to wait patiently on the other side, fan in. This is uh, something you'll see a lot of new runners do. They'll just like, I don't know if it's just the adrenaline pumping. They're I like, I don't want more, him to hit me. It makes more common sense, is right? You just try to track him to where you hit him as soon as he gets up. That's your thinking. But, but it's, it's a complete opposite. Right, right. I used to do this all the time, too, when I was first running this game, is just follow him so I could hit him the frame one. As soon as he gets up, I could shoot him, but... This just makes him duck a lot more. Liquid's not that stupid that he's just gonna like, oh, you're firing a gun at me, at my Jeep. Well, I'm just gonna swerve around and keep my head ducked. And of course, uh, Solid Snake, being the inferior one, doesn't understand that maybe if he just aimed a little bit further down, he would hit the head, but you know, I mean, they're not more there. They're not the perfect clones as we understand. It's true, it's true. Not the perfect clone, that's Gaseous Snake. Kamikaze finishing up his GGs. escape. Their escape. And uh, ending up with a 112.10. Nice. GG's to Kamikaze and Tyler. We'll see if they want to come by, say a few words as we wrap up the last race of today. Um, so I think uh, Plywood and Tyler have uh, clinched their place in the knockout stages with their victories today out of the FAMAS grouping. Let's see. GG's to Tyler and a Kamikaze. Welcome, uh, thank you, Tyler. Thank you, thank game. you. Congrats on the PB. Yeah, I was not expecting that to get a PB because I had my uh, splits running and I was about plus 10 to plus 12. I didn't realize I could save that much on liquid in my PB and then I had a really good uh, liquid portion of my escape. So, but um, I got uh, PAL 7, unfortunately. So I actually lost time because going in, I was plus 3 and then after picking up the PAL, I was plus 10. So, yeah. And I, I uh, think you I'll... missed one of yours, right? My power position was pretty good. I just, well, I just missed the line. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. So, so uh, we saw like a really big improvement uh, from last race for Kamikaze. I think you got like a was it like a one twenty eight last time. Twenty two, I believe. Twenty two. This is a ten minute improvement. That's uh, that's solid. We were. Pretty, it was interesting. Like there were things where you definitely like your liquid was really good. That was a a very good liquid. Um, how did that liquid feel for you? 
Uh, recently, I've just been no reset and runs. And of course, if I know I can't PB, I feel like I may as well go for it anyway. So I've just been, I mean, I do practice it outside of runs anyway, but like actually doing it in the moment helps a lot more. So yeah, I've, I've been starting to go for the uh, stun lock a lot more. I just need to you learn the flip positions better, I guess, instead of just going ham in it. Well, being able to do it in multiple positions is uh, a good thing. I think the only thing, like, at the very end, you want to not go for those kicks because, like, knocking them off the edge is sluggish. You want to, like, do punches and then, like, run out of the way if you're not able to do, like, a combo. But that was a that was a good liquid. I mean, really, like, from our perspective, it was, like, that Ocelot fight and that Hind fight mm -hmm. um, where it was, like, that hind fight was like so unfortunate where you just had all that time flo floating below the roof. Um, but it was still like so much better compared to last week. Um, just like lacking in some of those resources um, for your ammo caused some issues. Um, Tyler, how did you feel about your run overall? Like, you just were surprised that you got that PB, or a little? Because I mean, it's kind of started falling apart once I got to the tower climb. I had messed up my grenade throw, and I should have just went through the door. And I, I think I lost like eight seconds there. And then, um, look at my splits now. Like, I was plus seven at the tower climb, and then I slowly brought it back. My wolf one wasn't that great, but I didn't lose too much time. Um, but I mean, overall, I'm a lot happier with this than my performance last week, obviously, especially I was practicing liquid for like a good 30 minutes before the run even started because I did not want to fail that again after, you know, having that pretty much lose me the race last week. I am I am now determined to not have that happen again, hopefully. But um, I felt like the end game was fairly good. I just got bad luck on the pal and... I just had a couple of blunders, like a small number of like blunders, but I can, I get, like I, get, the one on one is definitely very close because if I got a better pal, I probably could have got one on one tonight. So it makes me a lot happier going forward. Yeah, that is uh, definitely true. I mean, you, Pazo, Vermilion are all so close to one on one, so close to getting that one on one. Uh, and Nick as well. Nick hasn't mm. gotten a one on one either. So, I mean, a lot of you are like on the cusp, which is really awesome. But um, for a kamikaze, I mean, this is this was a really good improvement. And I look forward to uh, racing you next week. I gave Smoking Ace the 108 challenge uh, to get a 108 uh, next week to cut another eight minutes down. Um, I'm going to give you the same challenge to get a 108 next week uh, against me. Um, I think you can do it. You just have to clean up like your hind fight, your ocelot. I think tank also kind of went south. I was kind of like peering over every he, now and he then. Got he got it. He got it, but it, uh, they got it. But it was just like <laughs> very dicey, very, very dicey, but it worked. Tank out of control is not fun. <laughs> it was spooky. It was a spooky tank. Um, so yeah, just like review the footage that happened uh this race um and at just veer you know you you didn't pick up as many resources as last week but it you kind of starved yourself so just like pick up some extra grenades if you're not sure and that sort of thing and i i really do think you'll get that sub 10 in no time okay thanks mm -hmm. yeah i'll keep that in mind uh, any last words, anyone? Kamikaze, Sparty, Tyler? Uh, for me, that was fun. It was a fun race watching uh, and seeing the improvements. Um, seeing a lot of different strategies. I wanted to ask Tyler what it's you do in the nuke building after the <laughs> canyon. Does that yeah. save time? Probably not. But actually, the very first trip, I saved half a second. The second trip, I lost like 0.7. So, um, so for that strategy, that kind of originated from the like any percent route years and years ago i had made up that that uh strategy i think it barely saves time if if any kind of breaks even but it's just another place mm -hmm. to get some kind of an alert and i was thinking on my way uh like um driving home i was like i want to try to do something cool like oh yeah most people probably don't know about this except for right. maybe plywood and 
probably D limes and maybe a handful of others. So yeah, that was the first time I saw it. So yeah, it's all the questions from uh, Supernova Snake. Oh, okay. All right. That's his new name, by the way, is Supernova. Supernova Snake. Snake. <laughs> yeah, that we 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 had quite the. We had quite the discussion in the commentary booth, uh, especially about your uh, fast food tier list that you uh, oh, decided no. to, to put up. <laughs> but, you know, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, the truth hurts. Yeah. All I'm going to say <laughs> the, tr- the truth hurts. Yes, yes. I'll have to take your word for it on that uh-huh. one. But folks, that is going to be the conclusion of week two of three for pool play. Uh, we're nearly out of the pools, folks, and out onto dry land for the Metal Gear Solid All Bosses PC Easy League. Again, it's a mouthful, but it's a good mouthful. It's a fun mouthful. Uh, come back on Saturday, this Saturday, for the conclusion uh, for the pool plays for Group SOCOM and Group Stinger. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. I mean, we had some really fun races this week. And I cannot imagine that week three is going to be any different. So thank you all so much for watching.